Thank you so much for doing this interview. How does it feel hosting an event that celebrates actors, Canadian actors, actors from Ontario, Toronto, but most importantly, actors from the red and white that represents not just this country, but shows their stuff all around the world. You know what? It's great. It's always a great event. Uh, tonight is the 75th anniversary of ACTRA. I'm getting to see a lot of people I haven't seen in a while. And um, every time I'm at one of these events, I'm just reminded of the incredible talent we have in this country and uh, how it, it's such an honor to be a part of them, what they do not only on the screen but off the screen. When you, when you prepare for a show like this, um, because you've got friends and colleagues out there, how do you prepare for something like that? No, and even though it's family, you still got to entertain. Yeah, it, it, it can. You, hopefully, your friends outnumber your enemies in the audience. <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I hopefully get a little leeway. This is what I'm hoping. I'm hope. I'm just you know trying to be so lovable that they they'll. The, they can't do anything else but laugh. I've been honing this for a long time. Uh, and I, you know, uh, my material, the monologue was written by Diane Francis, a very funny uh, a lady who I've worked with uh, a couple of times. We've improvised together. So I'm very confident in the material. So it's just uh, performing it and having fun. And, th and talking about with Improvise, the things that you've done over the years too, I mean, how do you feel about how you've represented uh, Canada uh, in your unique style? Um, you've, you've been able to open up doors where people realize that if you've got that hidden talent, it could come out anywhere, anytime, anyhow. Absolutely. I believe I'm a poster child for people who feel it's never going to happen for, it, for them. I mean, for me, it happened when I was 40. And... Um, you know, what was great about Whose Line was it was constantly being mentioned that I was Canadian. So I was, uh, it made me happy because I felt like, you know, I really was the best one. So it really, uh, I think, gave people a, 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 a sense of pride in Canada. And I tried to talk it up as much as I can because, you know, it's a great country. We have things we have to work on for sure, but um, I, I love this country. And speaking of uh, representing tonight, there's something that you have here on your jacket and it represents something tonight that we're all supporting. The uh, Me Too uh, uh, movement, uh, fighting against sexual harassment. It's, uh, you may have heard about it, it's been in the news lately. Um, and it's one of those things where uh, I knew it was a problem, but I was quite naive when the Me Too uh, started happening and on my Facebook page, all my friends, 100% of my, my women friends were going, Me Too, Me Too, Me Too. And it really was an eye opener. I knew that there, I'd heard stories uh, about inappropriate behavior, but I, you just think, well, that's, that, that was just un, unlucky uh, draw of the cards. But when you're really faced with how horrible it is, and I, Everyone I know has been touched in some way with some form of sexual harassment. And uh, I think it's great that it's being brought up now, it's being put out there. Uh, we can certainly start fighting against it. It's going to be harder, I think, for people to get away with it. Absolutely. Any projects coming up in the future right now? I have nothing. I use this award show as an audition piece. <laughs> uh, I'll be doing more Who's Line and a lot of touring, but uh, I'd like to get more work in Canada. <laughs> we want you back up here. Before you go, any advice for folks who are out there who are hopefully, hopefully following their dreams? You've done it. What can they do? Give them some advice. Sir. There are times when the only person who's going to believe in you is you. So keep that belief. You never know. I mean, I am now uh, working at a job that didn't exist when I was growing up. Uh, and it's the only thing I can do. So. You need a little luck, but you also have to be ready for when that chance comes. Absolutely. Congratulations. Have fun tonight. Cannot wait to see you hosting and, of course, all the projects in the future. Thank you so much.